Hey folks, welcome back to our Dice Tower preview. I'm Mark, and today we're taking a look at the new expansion for Project L called Finesse. Project L is brought to you by Board Cubator. It is for one to four players, ages 13 and up, and games range anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes. Project L is all about building pieces, puzzles, develop an engine, perfect your strategy, and win the game. The core of the game lies in using your pieces to complete puzzles. Starting with just two basic pieces, you use three actions every turn to develop a powerful engine. With more pieces of various types, you can efficiently complete even the most difficult puzzle. The puzzles you complete award you points or new pieces to further fuel your engine. This new finesse expansion brings extra strategic depth to Project L. Through an addition of goals, which requires each player to fulfill different conditions to get more points during the game. Completing your goals may require making compromise in your strategy or deviating from it altogether, allowing new ways to play Project L. When you play with finesse, you'll have more possible options for scoring points while keeping the same fast gameplay of the base game. So this video is primarily going to be focusing on the finesse expansion, but there are actions that you should be aware of and how they play into this expansion. So on your turn, you can perform three actions, but you have a possible of five. First is taking, you can simply take a puzzle piece and put it in your play area. Second, you can recycle. Uh, you can remove a whole row and put it at the bottom of the stack and draw a new set of tiles. You can upgrade, and this is where you'll look at your player guide showing that you can spend a puzzle piece to upgrade it to the next level, or even downgrade it if you so choose. And you can simply place for an action, placing a puzzle piece in one of your existing puzzles at the top of your player board. And then you have the master action, which is your most powerful action. But you can ever perform this one time on your turn, where you can take a puzzle piece and place it in each of your active puzzles. So those are the main possible actions you can perform in your turn. So now let's jump into finesse. So to set up finesse into your existing Project L game is very quick and straightforward. You take the new tiles and you're looking to sort them by A, B, and C. You'll take two randomly from A, two randomly from B, and six from C. You'll shuffle those together and then lay them out in this configuration. The first two are always face down because the first two rounds of the game cannot have any finesse. And then you have a series of coins that you're gonna be putting to the side and then you're ready to go. So to achieve finesse, you must complete the objectives on the active finesse tile. Now, the active finesse tile is always the one furthest to the left, and on those first two rounds, there is no active finesse. So, these tiles are gonna require many things from you, but your main goal in doing these objectives is to gather coins, because coins are going to give you a new action called insert. You can spend two coins to perform an additional action on your turn, except for the master action. That one is still only one time per turn. So that's why you're gathering these coins. However, as you gather coins, complete objectives, they won't be available to you until your next turn or the next round. So some finesse tiles will give you coins throughout your turn as you perform the objectives they call for. Others are gonna be tallied at the end of your turn, giving you coins then. Either way, when you gather coins, they go to the left side of your board, showing they are not active yet. Now, in this first example, we're looking for one of the three different types of puzzle pieces. Every time you place one of those pieces on your turn, you'll get a coin. Again, placing it to the left side of your board. The second tile on that next round is pretty nice because for every one of these pieces that you have in your supply or in an unfinished puzzle, that will give you coins. So, this is one of those tiles that you'll tally at the end of your turn. A couple other examples of finesse tiles. There is one when you upgrade one of your puzzle pieces, you'll get a coin for that. If you get a new puzzle tile, you can get coins for that. And at the end of your turn, if you have puzzles that are not completed yet, you could potentially get coin for that. Again, it just depends on what finesse is in play. And after every round, the finesse that's furthest to the left will then be removed or you could flip it 
over showing it's no longer active and moving down the chain. And this now becomes another way for the game to come to an end. It used to be when the black tiles ran out, that was the game end trigger. Well now, if you make it through all the rounds of finesse, then that can end the game as well. All right, folks, just a reminder once again, this has been a Dice Tower paid preview. And this finesse expansion is in prototype form, so keep a close eye on the campaign for any changes that still may occur. Now, I have to say that I adore this game. Project L is just one of my top games that I go back to over and over. And I love the tactile experience that it gives and the puzzly nature. And this expansion adds so much more, giving you the possibility of having a lot more actions you can perform in your turn if you have the coin to pay for them. But ultimately, folks, if this looks like something that would be of interest to you, I'm sure they'd appreciate your support. So I think that's it for me. And until next time, we'll see you at the table.